Just recently, Zimbabwe inked a transformative three-year deal with American tech giant Varian Medical Systems. This collaboration is set to revolutionize cancer treatment in the country by ensuring that crucial cancer machines are not just repaired, but also meticulously maintained. For years, Zimbabwe has faced critical shortages of radiotherapy and chemotherapy equipment. This shortage meant that many patients had to travel abroad for treatment, which was not just costly, but also emotionally draining. But that's changing now. With this new deal, Zimbabwe intends to bring high quality cancer care right to the doorstep of its citizens. Varian Medical Systems, known for their cutting-edge technology in cancer treatment, will be responsible for the regular inspections, preventive maintenance, and necessary repairs of these machines. The impact? It's huge! Firstly, it ensures long-term functionality of the equipment. More importantly, it reflects a robust commitment by the government to enhance cancer treatment services, making them accessible and affordable for everyone. And there's more good news. Alongside this technological partnership, social initiatives are also gaining momentum. The Apostolic Church's Council of Zimbabwe has teamed up with Kids Camp, a local organization dedicated to aiding children with cancer. They've recently signed a memorandum to boost awareness about childhood cancer. This is a fantastic move, as awareness is often the first step towards prevention and early treatment. This drive towards better cancer care in Zimbabwe isn't just about machinery and agreements. It's about saving lives, about making sure that people have access to the care they need without having to leave their homeland. It's about turning the tide from despair to hope, from fear to relief. To sum up, Zimbabwe's partnership with Varian is a beacon of progress. It's a testament to what can be achieved when technology meets human-centric policies. This is a story of resilience, of a nation fighting back against a disease that has taken so much from so many. And I, for one, am here to watch this story unfold. Hopeful for what this means for every person battling cancer in Zimbabwe. Thanks for tuning in and let's keep the conversation going. How do you think technology can further aid in improving healthcare in developing countries? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.